By tomorrow morning, the stains of Bill Clinton will be washed away, and honor and dignity will finally be restored to the White House. That George Walker Bush has won Florida's 25... Ron, I think the networks have the wrong numbers. We're still alive. Mr. President! Did you see the news? Gore just conceded he's on his way to the plaza. Sir! Mr. Mr. President! Whatever happens, we cannot let him make that speech. There's a problem with the numbers in Florida. Every vote from every citizen deserves to be counted. What the hell is going on, Catherine? Who won Florida? The eyes of the world have landed on me. Well, how hard is this to punch a paper ballot? It's pretty bad when you're 80-something years old, you're arthritic, and you're blind as a bat. But unfortunately for us, blind bats tend to vote Democratic. Well, we may well have won this election. Holy shit! Bring this election in for a landing. Bring it in for a landing. With George W. Bush in the cockpit. I cannot accept returns after the certification deadline unless there is a hurricane. Does your makeup count as a hurricane? Clowns to the left of me, jokers to the right, here I am. This is a street fight for the presidency of the United States. It never ceases to amaze me. The extent that Democrats will lie, cheat, and steal to win an election. The Republicans are the ones that are creating chaos. We're right on the goal line here. Just shut it down. Who actually won this election? Who won it? I should tell you, you're probably going to lose tomorrow. It's certainly one of two possibilities. <laughs> Recount is a film that focuses on the recounting of votes in Florida during the 2000 Bush-Gore election. For the most part, this film is accurate in the portrayal of events with the exception of a few things. The film spends some time focusing on Florida Secretary of State Katherine Harris, played by Laura Dern. In one scene, Harris is staring out the window at protesters, and the screenwriter identified this as a fictional scene. In another scene, Harris compares her situation to that of the Bible story of Queen Esther, who was, quote, willing to sacrifice herself to save the lovely Jewish people. Harris is a devout Christian and confirmed the factuality of the following scene. Don't you worry, Mac. It's gonna take a lot more than David Letterman making fun of my hair and makeup to knock me down. <laughs> that is exactly why I backed your campaign when everyone else ran over to Mortham, because you are a woman of action. A woman of action. Like Queen Esther. Queen Esther? I have been reading my Bible quite a bit here lately, and I have been feeling this unusually strong kinship with Queen Esther. You recall Queen Esther? She was willing to sacrifice herself to save the lovely Jewish people. And that's exactly what I'm doing right now. And if I perish, I perish. Another fictional event in this film is the portrayal of Warren Christopher, played by John Hurt. Christopher commented on the film saying it is, quote, pure fiction in its portrayal of him as a weak strategist. James Baker III, played by Tom Wilkinson, also commented on how the film presents Christopher. Baker said, quote, I don't think I was as ruthless as the movie portrays me, and I know he was not as wimpish as it makes him appear. A weak Warren Christopher and a ruthless James Baker are clearly presented in the following scene. Street fight for the presidency of the United States. I'm told they have a well-oiled operation just waiting to clobber us. It ain't gonna get more political than this. Now, we want to proceed as if this is a proper legal process. Right. Not a political street fight. We're wants to pull Jesse Jackson out of Florida as quickly as possible. Wait a minute. When I spoke to the vice president, he said he wanted to fight this with every there possible... There's concern that protesters might diminish what should be an orderly process. If a fight broke out, and let's say the police overreacted, or even worse, a riot, no one wants that. Chaos will not help our cause. That's right. Okay, I'll ask Donovan to talk to Jesse Jackson. Our first step should be exploring this butterfly ballot situation. The ballot was designed by a Democrat and approved by the Democrats in Palm Beach before Election Day. They don't have a leg to stand on. I went through a ballot configuration dispute on the Connie Mack recount. There were no legal remedies. The Constitution says presidential elections must be held on a single day throughout the nation. There isn't a court in the state that would be crazy enough to grant them a revote. Well, it looks like Chris won't be able to negotiate his way out of this one. I'm sure Jim will want to negotiate a fair method to settle this affair. 
Some Palm Beach groups have already filed lawsuits. I think we should join them. No, no, we don't want to go to courts. But if we're pursuing this as a legal process and not a political fight, as Chris said, then we're going to have to file lawsuits. Who doesn't want to send the message that he's suing to be president of the United States? He's not Absolutely just... no lawsuits. I want to file a lawsuit in federal court. It's quick. It's in the end, Gore concedes again and George W. Bush wins the presidency.